Hey guys, Redneck Mini 14 here, and today we're going to talk about a category of firearms that I don't usually talk about, and it's kind of a new topic to me, and that is trapping guns. Now, trapping, it, it kind of falls along the same lines as hunting, only instead of going out and sitting in the woods or, or stalking an animal, you're setting a trap and you go back like in 24 hours or something and see if your traps caught anything and then uh, you kill whatever your traps caught. Typically people uh, try to get like raccoons and small game like that in their traps and they uh, get it for the, the furs or whatever. Um, this is not typically a practice that I do but recently I've had to set a trap to try and catch an animal that has been causing destruction to our property. I'm not the type of person that just goes out, sets traps, and, um, you know, sets traps every night and goes back and gets, you know, two, three animals every night. Uh, that's not the kind of trapping that I personally do. Um, the good news is whatever animal I was looking for is now gone or something ate it or killed it or whatever. So I didn't have to uh, actually catch it and kill it or anything, but when I was setting a trap and looking to possibly kill this animal that I caught, um, I took out this gun right here. This is a Ruger Mark I and it is a 22. Now, 22, whether you're talking about 22 long rifle, like uh, this gun here or any of these guns actually, um, 22 is basically what we're talking about when it comes to trapping guns. So, um, if you have like, you know, five or six traps that you're going out and looking, uh, you don't really need something that's high capacity, you don't really need something that's super expensive or flashy or high tech. You don't even need something that's super accurate. You just need something good enough to do the job. Um, now, a lot of people use handguns, and that's probably what I would stick with. So this is, a, again, a Ruger Mark I. Um, you could use like a Ruger Mark II or any of the, the Ruger pistols or um, anything like that. So you have 9 plus 1 or 10 plus 1, depending on the model. Um, you could get like a Heritage Rough Rider, which is a revolver. And, um, you know, any 22 revolver of similar fashion. So like a uh, Ruger Wrangler or security, or not a security six, a single six, or a um, Taurus makes this one called a 942. They have a three inch barrel. Um, and again, like I said, you don't have to have something that's super expensive, flashy, high tech, um, super high quality or even the most accurate because generally speaking whatever you're shooting is right in front of you you just need something up close and personal um, and 22 long rifle or 22 magnum will do the job now some people do use rifles like this Ruger 1022 rifles are a good choice as well um, a lot of people like them for when they're going through the woods and if they see something on the way to the trap um, a rifle is a little bit better than a pistol, um, you know. To each his own, I kind of stick with the pistol, or at least that's what I would personally stick with. Or just do the best of both worlds and actually carry a rifle for um, if you see something in a pistol for your up close and personal. Get the best of both worlds that way. The reason I tend to stick with a pistol over a rifle when it comes to a trapping gun is you really don't need to be super far away from the animal that you're shooting because it's right there in front of you so I don't really see a need to have a whole you know full-length rifle or even a, a carbine because some people think that carbines and rifles are different when carbines just a shorter rifle but anyway you don't really need a full 16 inch plus barrel to shoot something right in front of you that's just my opinion that's why I tend to lean more towards uh, semi-automatic pistols or 22 revolvers, um, whether we're talking about 22 long rifle or 22 mag. Um, you don't really need anything bigger than a 22. Um, you know, 17 HMR, you know, those guns, they're a smaller caliber, but they're also a higher velocity and, you know, might do more damage and it's a more expensive round anyway, so 
you, I, don't, I just don't really see a purpose in using a 17 HMR for a trapping gun when it's just up close and personal. And you know, 17 HMR is more of a longer range rimfire, whereas like a 22 long rifle or 22 Magnum pistol or even a rifle, um, a lot of times those are more closer range firearms. So pretty much anything 22 long rifle, 22 Magnum, or there's like a 22 Winchester rimfire, which I don't even think they make guns for anymore. Um, but you know, some like older, older guns, you know, there were some other 22 rimfire uh, cartridges out there. So if you have one of those guns, those would also probably work as well. Um, but anyway, those are what I would think would be good trapping guns. So basically any 22 pistol, um, doesn't have to be like a target pistol, but like a, a Ruger, uh, standard series, Mark series, whatever you want to call it, Browning Buckmark, uh, the Smith & Wesson Victory, things like that. Um, revolvers, you have the Heritage Rough Rider, you have all the Rugers, you have the, the Taurus 942, and there's like another one that uh, you can do 22 long rifle or 22 mag, and uh, the Rugers and the Heritage also do that. Um, and of course you have like your 1022s, your, your Henrys, your Savages, your Marlin Model 60s and 795s. All those rifles would make good 22 rifles for trapping guns. Um, again, 22, really all you need, whether it be long rifle, Magnum, Winchester, Rimfire, you know, any of those, uh, guns would do you good. So. Subscribe to my channel, like me on Facebook, I'm Redneck Mini 14, and until next time, be safe.